I said, yo, what it do, what it does, guys. It's your boy, Bugsy Smooth. Welcome back to another video. Y'all already know that this video was inevitable, right? Y'all knew I had to give my analysis and my breakdown and my thoughts on Cardi B and Offset's divorce. Because this right here, man, it's almost laughable at this point. Like, it's just, for the life of me, I don't understand why rappers and celebrities and athletes at this point don't learn from the mistakes of their peers see a wise man learns from the mistakes of others you see your peers people in the industry getting married to other people in the industry and then get financially raped by way of divorce over and over and over again but you insist that it's different with the woman you're going to be with this is the mentality that a lot of these guys, they keep on, they just insist on learning things the hard way. But Offset is no exception. He going to learn the hard way. Oh, yeah, because anyone with any kind of sense when it comes to women, if you, whether you have red pill knowledge or not, if you are just a guy who's dealt with enough women, even if you are a guy who's been married before, been divorced, especially you type guys, you guys that have been divorced, y'all already are hip to this. But, you know, guys who, who've dealt with enough women, who, who who got to know women in their hypergamous ways, knows that this was a finesse from the beginning. It's easy to see if you pay attention to Offset and Cardi B's relationship. All it takes is five minutes for you to look at them, Right. And, and look at their careers and compare the two and know that Cardi B finessed Offset smoothly. She finessed that boy and he fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Like, it, it, it's just laughable. Like, uh, Offset, I can't even call him Offset. I, I gotta call him Off Simp. It, it, bro, you need to get off simping. It's what you need to do. And this ain't no disrespect to Offset because hopefully he learns from this, but... Bruh, you got finesse. And and I'm a, and for those of y'all that are probably watching this right now, oh, Bugsy, how does she finesse Offset? You know, they were in a marriage and Offset was cheating and she had her own money before she met Offset. All right, I'm gonna break that down for you right now. Go to Google right now. Open up a tab and t go into Google and type in Cardi B's net worth in 2016. Press enter. Cardi B's net worth in 2016 was $400,000. That was her net worth. Cardi B in 2016 was not known on a national or global level. She was on Love and Hip Hop, dealing with DJ Self and his label, trying to break through in the music industry. She was a struggling artist trying to get popping. Now, mind you, I'm not going to take anything away from her. On Instagram, she was very popular. You know, she was doing a lot of comedic videos. You know, she had the whole ratchet and hood rat audience on lock. I mean, they were gravitating towards her Instagram page. So she already was a personality that people loved and gravitated towards. But as far as music goes and, and, and as far as her net worth and her finances are concerned, she wasn't anywhere near she, where she is today. She was $400,000 net worth in 2016. All right. 2017, she put out Bodak Yellow. But before Bodak Yellow took off, she met Offset. She met Offset somewhere in the beginning of 2017. Offset's net worth. Go to Google right now. Type in Offset net worth in 2016. Press enter. Offset's net worth in 2017 was $16 million, I believe. Somewhere around that ballpark. Because Bad and Bougie was rising on the charts. The Migos was a hot group. They were on quality control. They were, they were hot. They were, they were all over the charts. They were buzzing. They were, they were everywhere, all over the radio, all in the clubs. Music was getting played everywhere. They were one of the hottest hip-hop groups at that time. They still are hot. Okay? So Offset was a known name in the hip-hop mainstream world. Okay? And he was signed to a label that was popping and it's still popping today, which is quality control. All right. So Cardi B meets Offset. Bodak Yellow takes off. 
around the summertime of 2017. By this time, Offset and Cardi B are already hinting at the fact that they're together. They're putting out Instagram little videos of them together and stuff like that. They're already were hinting at it. Now, I know people are going to say that this was maybe an industry relationship and this was something that the industry put together because it was mutually beneficial for Offset and Cardi B, which I'm not going to rule that out. Maybe it was. Maybe it was beneficial for the label. It was beneficial for Offset to get him some clout among the women and and cardi b to get some clout but if you look at this whole situation who benefits the most cardi b cardi b was below offset bodak yellow comes out it blows up it's hot it's all over the uh, uh, nationally it's, it's a popping song okay right so her net worth in 2017 cardi b google this guys cardi b in 2017 after she meets offset puts out bodak yellow her net worth now is 1.5 million Somewhere around that ballpark. So she went from $400,000 being on Love and Hip Hop, not really well known to meeting Offset, putting out Bodak Yellow, and going from her net worth going from $400,000 to $1.5 million to around, I think at the end of 2017, she was making around $4 million, or her net worth was $4 million. I don't want to say she's making $4 million, but she, her net worth was around that ballpark. So you go from a six-figure chick to a to a seven-figure woman in a year through through me, just meeting Offset, and you cannot tell me Offset did not make Cardi B hot. Yes, he did. By her association with him, it raised her value, it raised her popularity. Yes, it did. There's no denying that. Because if Cardi B would have been next to a guy who was under Offset, nobody would have cared. Nobody would have cared. It's because Offset was a part of a poppin' hip-hop group. He already was a poppin' artist. So that's why it helped her out, okay? And her net worth, notice, her net worth is steady rising right now, okay? Now, Cardi B now gets married to Offset during the fall, I believe, winter of 2017. I don't have accurate dates here because I don't got a computer in front of me. But this is just stuff that I know off the top. Just me being a hip-hop guy and I, and I love rap. Me just paying attention. And I see the finesse coming from miles away. She gets married to him. Right when she got married to him, I said, Offset, you messed up, brother. You done messed up. Because she's going to, the minute her value rises past yours, you are done. Just as I called it, I said, the minute Offset starts making less than Cardi B, or he's not as hot as her anymore, or he's not hotter than her, she's hotter than him. The minute that happens, she's going to toss him to the side of the road. And exactly what she did. And, and, and she was going to and I knew she was going to use the excuse of Offset as a cheater. Offset has been a cheater from the get go. And let me touch on this whole cheating thing, because, you know, a lot of people go and jump on here and say Offset was a cheater. He was cheating on Cardi B. OK, cool. Offset has been cheating from the beginning and Cardi B knew it. You don't think Cardi B knew that Offset was a type of guy that can't keep it in his pants. You think she she knew this is a guy from Atlanta, from the south, from the hood. OK. You, 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 you think that, and, and furthermore, Offset, bruh, you married a stripper. A stripper. You cuffed and married a stripper within less than a year of meeting her. That's real simpish. You don't ever, guys, even beta males, guys, who, who have any kind, you can be naive of female nature. But even those type of guys, to some degree, know that a stripper is not worth putting a ring on. Even they know that. But, bruh, you went and married a stripper who makes videos talking about how she finesses dudes. Like, this ain't something I have a conspiracy theory or this ain't any one of my theories or thoughts. No, this is facts. You guys can go on Cardi B on YouTube and you can find videos of her talking about how she's finessed dudes her whole life, how she used to drug dudes and rob them. This is stuff that she said out of her own mouth. This is how Cardi B was making her money throughout all her life. This is how, this is all she knows. So you mean to tell me she didn't plan this from the jump? That's what y'all mean to tell me? You mean to tell me a woman who's been finessing men all of her life? is going to stop finessing once she meets Offset and, and she's going to stop finessing once she gets some money and gets into the industry. Guys, money doesn't change you. It only magnifies who you really are. Cardi B is going to do more finessing now that she got more money. She's just going to be a better finesser. That's all it is. Cardi B today in 2020 is worth $24 million, guys. She's worth more than Offset. Google it. 
She went from $400,000 on Love and Hip Hop in 2016. And in 2020, she's worth $24 million. She got a successful single called WAP, which is on the charts climbing. I think it's number two or number one. It could be. I don't know. But it's a popping song. She don't need Offset no more. And the minute she didn't need him anymore, she filed for a divorce. And now she wants half his earnings. She wants custody of the kid, their child, right? And she wants Offset to pay for her lawyer fees. She wants Offset to pay for her lawyer fees so she can fight to take half his earnings. That is a smooth finesse. You know what? I can't even... I th you cannot be mad at women like Cardi B. You just can't be mad at them. Cardi B is doing all... She, is what, she, what she's doing is all she knows her whole life. She's not doing anything different. You feel me? So, Offset, man, this is your fault. And you can't tell me that Quavo and Takeoff weren't at least in this man's ear telling him, bruh, you know, let me pull you to the side real quick, holla at you. I don't think you should marry that woman, bruh. I don't think it's a good idea that you get with that girl. I really don't think so. I think that you should date her, be your be her boyfriend, but do not marry this woman. And I bet you Cardi uh, I bet you pardon me. Offset was like, "Nah, dog, she different." You know, you know, you know, hey, 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 you know she different. You know, I can't do an Atlanta accent, but you know, shout it, she different, shout it. She different, shout it, you know, shout it different, shout it real, shout it solid. You know, <laughs> shout out to my Atlanta folks. I bet you he was saying some stuff like that, some old simpish stuff like that. You cuffed a stripper. A stripper, Offset. I don't care how good that WAP was. I don't care how great her wet skin was because we know strippers know how to do all type of crazy stuff. Some acrobatic, they fly over the handle, jump, do cross legs, all type of wild stuff. So it, 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 he probably got hypnotized and was like, oh, I'm in love. I, you proposed to this woman on stage. Oh, Lord. It, my God. It, uh, offset, bruh. I, nothing else needs to be said. Guys. Cardi B finessed Offset and she finessed him smoothly. She should be in the finesse hall of fame for what she did. It's a woman who literally telling you that she's a finesser. She's an ex-stripper. She finesses dudes for a living. That's what she's been doing all her life. And you thought she wasn't going to finesse you? Of course, now that her value is up, she don't need you no more. God, man, I hope this is a lesson to you guys, man. First off, don't cuff strippers. All right, guys, have some standards about yourself. Have some standards. A stripper is not higher value than you. I don't care if you're not famous or not. Whether you are, you're a regular guy working a nine to five in a corporate job, you got a degree, you have more value than a stripper. I'm telling you that right now. You, I don't care how fine that woman is, you have more value than she do. Not the other way around. She stands more to gain from you than she got her lifestyle was stripping. You know what? I'm out of here, man. Holla at your boy, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Offset got finessed. And, and, and that's all there is to it, man. And, and, and I hope he learns from this and I hope he doesn't cuff another stripper or something. He might cuff a porn star next. I don't know. These blue pill simp guys never cease to amaze me. Shout out to Offset, man. Holla at your boy.